Elite. 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 Three elites and not one gun. This triggers me. What's up guys, it's Eddie the Chump here, just recording a quick little video. I just had an experience on Destiny which full on triggered me and I wanted to talk about it in a quick video with you. So I was playing a game of Control in Destiny and I don't understand how Bungie can allow it to happen but it happened anyway. And there's a guy on the other team who is teleporting across the map. Not like some hidden perk which is like blink on the floor and you can skate everywhere. No, this guy was full on red barring, right? Now we've all played against red bars, we've all played against laggy people in games. It's irritating, right? Because they seem to have the advantage over us when we're playing genuinely and they're just like, nah, fuck it, you know, I can connect on my mum's dial up. You know, from Asda, Asda dial up. Sorry, your Nan's Aldi connection is what they're connecting to. And in modern games, they seem to have the advantage, which is ridiculous to me. But did you know some people do this deliberately? I was playing against a guy who clearly was doing this deliberately, all right? Okay, and I knew this by the fact that every time he killed me, he danced after he killed me. And if you don't know, people do that because they want to wind you up because they're, they're actually doing it on purpose, which I find insane that they can still get the advantage by doing that why isn't that guy dead come on now so this guy kept teleporting and killing me with a shotgun i'd see him for about a split second then he wasn't there and then he'd come back and i'd die and it was you know as you can imagine that was great fun right and he danced every time he killed me now to me someone who would be willing to nerf their own connection so if you don't know people will, will you know with certain routers they can nerf their own connection to take advantage of lag comp because that's a product we need I blame the developers personally, like, why the fuck are they making games where the person with the worst connection can shit on someone with, like, five ping? Why is that a thing, everybody? Why? Why does that occur? Anyway, we'll never know the answer to that question. We don't want it to be unfair on Timmy on fucking his Nan's Aldi connection! Now, how about I pay for good internet because I want to get wrecked, like that guy wrecked me. He light machine gun in a corner. It's nice to see that even PC players are adopting proper COD technique. Anyway, where was I? So yeah, there are products out there, if you didn't know, such as the Net Doomer, where you can nerf your own connection because some people understand that lag comp is bogus and you actually get an advantage from it. And that is madness to me. God damn it. This is the worst gunfight ever. How did I win that? So with these routers, they'll do this to themselves and then they'll shit on you because, you know, life's not fair. If anything, this should teach you that life's not fair, okay, guys? If you may be young and you don't understand, life isn't fair, okay? Big Dave doesn't want it to be fair. Michelle doesn't want it to be fair. No one wants it to be fair because when life is fair, some people are better than other people at games and we can't have any feelings hurt. And that, that led me to a thought of the people that would do that, the people that would actively buy a product to nerf their own connection to have an advantage in a shooting game are the same people who DDoSed in League Play to get to Masters, right? And if you've ever played Black Ops 2 League Play on the 360, or in fact any console, you would understand that there are people out there who think that the rank is so important that they're willing to cheat for it. Now, I've always said that kind of misunderstands the point of competition, no? Like, if you want to be known as a good player and have that rank and be like, I'm fucking sick, mate, but then you cheat to get it, isn't that missing the point? Isn't that... Like, fundamentally missing the point of being good at something. I know, I want the prestige of being recognised as good, but I don't want to have to be good. Does that make any sense to anybody? Like, would I even want... I couldn't do that. I couldn't play a competitive game and cheat. Someone said to me the other day, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, he was like, yeah, I cheated in COD 4, you know, in pubs just to mess around. And I'm like, I don't understand why you would ever do that. Like, why would you cheat... I I'm obviously the wrong person. Like, I need to talk to someone who has cheated in these games and, and try and understand their psychology. Because I can't let this shit go. I just can't get it. My mind just breaks. I'm like, nope. But then again, I don't understand why people sit in corners in a casual game like COD. And loads of people do that as well. So maybe it's not them that's crazy. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe someone wanting to compete honestly is now the crazy person. I don't understand what world we're living in. So I don't know, maybe maybe you're watching this video, maybe you're one of those people that would do that. Reply in the comments why you would cheat, like why you would DDoS in Black Ops 2. Maybe you see it as like you wouldn't actually do it, but so many other people do it. So you're just like, you're evening the playing field if you like. I have no idea because 
the, the friend that I had used to play GBs in COD, used to take COD very seriously, right? And he's saying, you can't play it without a DDoS tool. You couldn't even do it. You couldn't even get into GBs without having some kind of resolver DDoS tool just, just to fuck with the people who fucked with you. And I'm like, surely that's ma this is mad get turned on. Surely that's madness, right? That is absolutely crazy to have a competitive environment online where you're like, yeah, well, you needed to be able to cheat just in case the people that you were playing against were cheating. I'm like, why are the people interested in being competitive cheating in the first place? How did I not kill that guy? Why are the people who want to play competitive wanting to cheat? Why? That makes no sense to me. Someone tell- please, it's maddening. I'm like, I take Destiny for example. Trials is this weekend. I'd like to play Trials. Elimination is a good game type. Single elimination, bit more sweaty than, you know, casual fucking hammer bro Destiny. Polux, look, bruv. I don't think FPS is for you. There's so many triggers going on right now. I'm First of all, I'm playing Advanced Warfare. Uh, go prone? No? Okay. Don't worry about it. I've forgotten what the keys are. Rip. That aim was uh, godly, obviously. He is going to be mad. I think I killed him twice in a row. Surely, the nature of competition, people who are watching this, is because you want to feel some sort of achievement, right? People compete at things because they like the feeling of when they're good, right? We like being competitive when we win. I always say that about COD players. Yeah, I like playing good, good players when I win a close game. No one likes playing good players and getting either dicked on or losing a really narrow game. Well, some people say they do, but I don't believe them. They're crazy. They're mad. They're, and they're also lying. Getting beat really close. Like, that's got to be some sort of bullshit. Oh. Hello. Bosh. You see, on PC, this game's fucking great. Anyway, no one cares, Ed. No one cares. 31 and 9. So yeah, guys, that was just a short, like, cut com on why the fuck would you cheat if you want to play competitive games. It's never made any sense to me. If you do do that, in the comments, reply to me. Tell me what you think, because I can't fucking handle it. My brain breaks at the very thought of it. Um, and yeah, you'll be seeing some more videos later this week. I've been Eddie the Chump. I don't know why I did this weird outro. Um, Frito, help me. I don't do outros.